King John, in June 1215, was forced to put his seal to the Articles of the Barons by a group of powerful landlords who could no longer stand John's failed leadership and despotic rule. In return, the barons renewed their oaths of fealty to King John. A formal document to record the agreement was created by the Royal Chancery. This was the original Magna Carta. After a few months of half-hearted attempts to negotiate in the summer of 1215, open warfare broke out between the rebel barons and the king and his supporters. This conflict was the first barons' war in the Kingdom of England. The Magna Carta of 1215 contained clauses that theoretically noticeably reduced the power of the king, such as Clause 61, the Security Clause, which allowed a group of 25 barons to override the king at any time by way of force, a medieval legal process called distraint that was normal in feudal relationships but had never been applied to a king. The war began over Magna Carta but quickly turned into a dynastic war for the throne of England. The rebels made the first move in the war, seizing the strategic Rochester Castle. John was well prepared for a conflict. He had stockpiled money to pay for mercenaries and ensured the support of the powerful marcher lords with their own feudal forces. John's campaign started well. In November, he retook Rochester Castle from rebel barons in a sophisticated assault. Having regained the southeast, John split his forces, sending William Longsby to retake the north side of London and East Anglia, whilst John himself headed north via Nottingham to attack the estates of the northern barons. Both operations were successful and the majority of the remaining rebels were pinned down in London. In January 1216, John marched against Alexander Sakun of Scotland, who had allied himself with the rebel cause. John took back Alexander's possessions in northern England in a rapid campaign and pushed up towards Edinburgh over a 10-day period. The rebel barons responded by inviting the French Prince Louis to lead them. Louis had a claim to the English throne by virtue of his marriage to Blanche of Castile, a granddaughter of Henry II. Louis's planned arrival in England presented a significant problem for John, as the prince would bring with him naval vessels and siege engines essential to the rebel cause. Once John contained Alexander in Scotland, he marched south to deal with the challenge of the coming invasion. Prince Louis intended to land in the south of England in May 1216, and John assembled a naval force to intercept him. Unfortunately for John, his fleet was dispersed by bad storms, and Louis landed unopposed in Kent. Louis and the rebel barons advanced west, and John retreated, spending the summer reorganizing his defenses across the rest of the kingdom. By the end of the summer, the rebels had regained the southeast of England and parts of the north. In September 1216, John began a fresh, vigorous attack. He attacked eastwards around London to Cambridge to separate the rebel-held areas of Lincolnshire and East Anglia. In Lynn, John contracted dysentery, which would ultimately prove fatal. He died at Newark Castle, Nottinghamshire, on the night of the 18th of October, and with him, the main reason for the fighting. Louis now seemed much more of a threat to baronial interests than John's nine-year-old son, Henry. In the aftermath of John's death, William Marshall was declared the protector of the child king. On the 12th of November 1216, Magna Carta was reissued in Henry's name with some of the clauses omitted, including Clause 61. The revised charter was sealed by the young king's regent, William Marshall. William slowly managed to get most barons to switch sides from Louis to Henry and attack Louis. The two opposing sides fought for about a year. In the Battle of Lincoln, Lewis's forces were attacked by a relief force under the command of William Marshall, and Louis was expelled from his base in the southeast of England. 
In the Battle of Sandwich, a French fleet bringing more men and supplies to assist Prince Louis was defeated. William Marshall blockaded London from the sea and land, and at Lambeth, Louis accepted peace terms. He waived his claim to the throne of England. Louis was paid 10,000 marks by the barons to ensure he left the country as soon as possible. William Marshall pardoned all those who had supported Louis. And with that, the Civil War was over.